To have a video fully search engine optimized is not only about making the video easy to find, it's also about helping your other content get easily found. This is where end screens can be very beneficial. When you are uploading a video to YouTube, one of the steps you must do are to add end screens. Now they are at the very end of your video. They're in the last 20 seconds of your video. And so you want to make sure that your videos are at least 25 seconds long to add it. When you want to add an element, you can simply click on add element and then you'll see that there is a list of options. You always need to link to either a video or a playlist. And when you choose video, you will have a choice between the most recent upload, best for viewer, or a specific video. If you are posting at least once a week, you're going to want to choose to upload to your most recent video because we want to keep people on our most recent content. If you don't post regularly and you're not sure which video to show, then choose best for viewer. YouTube will recommend a video from your content library to show the viewer based on their search history. Now, if this video is within a series, it would make sense to then recommend the next video in a series. In that case, you would choose a specific video. The other types of elements you would want to include in your end screens is a link to subscribe. That is going to take on the image of your profile picture and will make it so that button is clickable and people can easily subscribe to your content. You never want to link to another channel unless you're directly affiliated with that channel. Perhaps you have a, another YouTube channel about another part of your business. If it's something that you will benefit from sharing that content and getting people to that particular page, that is the only time you'd want to link to another channel. Lastly, we have a link. Once you are part of the YouTube Partner Program, you can then add a link that links right to your website. It's extremely beneficial if you are a business to be able to do this. And so make sure that you do all of YouTube steps that you are regularly posting. So then hopefully you can reach that level and start adding those links. You can see here at the bottom, this is the 22nd time where those content pieces can be. They need to be on for at least five seconds. And so if I wanted to make this longer, I can get those double arrows and extend to make it longer. But I only want it to be on for five seconds. So I'm just going to close it up a little bit. I can also move it to be closer to the timeline of the start of the 20 seconds versus towards the end. Uh, what you need to do is make sure though that there's space for these icons. And so when you are creating your exit graphics, have this in mind to leave some space for the end screens. And you need to make sure there's enough space where they won't be overlapping. As you can see, when one goes over the other, it's red, there's a big alarm. Ah! You can't do it. And so make sure that you always leave space where you can have all your content here. Uh, this is a fairly old video. You can see our old branding on here, but it's still a good one. Uh, and it has a 100% SEO score. And so I know a lot of people love this Kim of Fun video. Anywho, when you are doing your end screens, the key elements to keep in mind, again, is that you can adjust the lengths, but you need them on at least for five seconds. And that you can adjust the placement by just clicking and dragging that element. A lot of people will ask if they can make this box smaller. Unfortunately, you cannot. You can only make it just a wee bit bigger, but not smaller. So just a quick recap of the key elements for your end screens. You absolutely need to link to a video or playlist. That's a requirement. Then you want to link to your subscription button. And if you are able, you want to link back to your website. If you have any questions about this step, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And if there's any way that we can assist you, please reach out to us. We hope this video helps you be more successful with video marketing and to never miss out on a video. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page.